Hi guys, it's Gwen and I am so thrilled that you're here. And today I want to talk about the color red. The color red is one of those colors that is, can either be jarring, it can be in your face, it's too much, or it can be just the most drama-filled color ever. So I want to talk about that a little bit because Jeanette emailed me and said, I need to know about red because I find it hard to use in a painting. Which reds? I know there are cool reds, there are warm reds. What are they? How do I use it? And so this is how and what I'm going to do today. So what I'm going to do is show you a lot of reds. I'm going to show you how I do. And they're reds that I use. I'm not going to show you all the reds because I don't have all the reds. There are a lot of reds, by the way. But that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get going on that. But if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Because you know what? We're a pretty darn great group. Okay, here we have a lot of reds. A lot of reds. And there, as, you, as you know, there are cool, cool reds and warm reds. The red that I use as a middle number, and I really have to combine, would be the cadmium Red Light and the cadmium red medium. I don't know if there is a true red. It's just, you know, how I am interpreting all of this. But we go from a brown red all the way to a rose brilliant. But I will tell you my favorite one, but first let's put them out and let me let me arrange these so that uh, so that we can put them on a piece of paper because I know it's so much easier if you can see them. So hang on, let me let me get this out and done. All right, there are a lot of reds. Now, the one that I think is probably closest, this is a warm red. It is a cadmium red light. And we're going to put this on and have a look at it. Look at that. Oh, God, it's so gorgeous. I love that. I love reds. Red is a drama color. And if you want drama, then you use red. It's also can be considered an angry color. But um, the way I use it, I just I don't look at it as an angry color. This is a cad red medium. Look at the difference. One is warm, one is cool. Now, one of my favorite colors is a Charvin color by the name of Ruby Red. It's a cool red. Very cool. Look at that. Oh. See, now when you see this, you see that, that the Eucadium Red Medium has a touch. It's cool, but it has a touch of brown when you put this next to it. And that makes a big difference. Now, when I use the cadmium, I mean the uh, ruby red, I always use this other color, which is a Charvin color, and it's called Indian Orange. Now, why would I use an orange considering that we're talking about reds? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. <laughs> You can just eat it, guys. You can eat it. It's so good. Because I like to use clashing colors. If you use clashing colors within a red, it, it brings it to life. And uh, I could even go into a coral, uh, which is a, this. the one that I have here is uh, an Old Holland coral. Uh, the, the brand is Old Holland. Uh, but this is more of an orange. Now, I realize I'm going into orange, and you guys are wanting to know about red. But if you use just the reds, I don't think they have the spark that you need in order to produce a painting that's just exciting. Here is a cad orange. 
No, no, this is a cadmium yellow orange. Let's see if this is any different here. See, look at that. It, it is. It's much more yellowy orange. Now, okay, let's say that I want to really, really <laughs> make a, a statement here. Now, this is probably a little wet, so it'll mix. But if I put this next to that, it is going to clash. And that's what I like. I like a clashing color at the center of interest. Because to me, that is, that's a good thing. The other one that I, I am putting in here, and it's a, it is a rose brilliant, but it's still in the same, well, it's kind of, it's in the same family, but it's not a red, but to me, I use it when I use some reds, because I may mix these. Mixing these really makes your own red. You don't have to use just the tube color. You can use all of these and mix them. The other, uh, my last color, and the color that I could not live without is transparent orange. I love transparent orange. It is fantastic. Now, transparent orange, isn't this gorgeous? When you put transparent orange over a red, you are going to end up getting another type of red. It brings, it will bring that red to another level. Look at this. You may not be able to see it, but when you, when you put this on a canvas, you can see it. I put, I use the transparent orange over lots of different, different neutrals. Now, of course, you can mix all of these with white, but you're going to milk it down, and I don't, I don't care for that. But now, if you want drama, that is when you add and you put black. You will get drama with black with, against a red. You can see that this really adds to the drama of the, of the um, red and the orange. So that, I love this, look at this. I mean, seriously, aren't we the luckiest people in the world? We get to play with color all day. Now, color is a very serious thing because without, without the color, we couldn't do very much. But, and uh, I apologize, I got it wrong on here. But look at all of these reds and oranges and they go so well together. So remember, when you're doing reds, get different reds, mix them, decide what you want, and make it exciting so that it's not a boring color. Okay, I hope this has helped because I've loved doing it for you. And remember that reds are just like any other color. You don't necessarily want a straight one out of the tube. You want one that's going to become your red. And how you get that is what you mix. So I want you to take this and just mix those reds. But remember, orange with the red is going to be awesome. Particularly if it's a cool red because you've got the warm and you've got the cool and they clash and they vibrate so that they cause energy. Put that at your center of interest. It will always be a winner and with a touch of black right next to it. So send me your questions. I would love to answer them and uh, I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye. Love ya.